All right, it's uh, episode three of Knowledge Bomb Wednesdays. Um, today I just want to go over something that's just really bothering me and a lot of people just don't know. There is a lot of consequences, especially to your neck, from spending all day long on this. Um, I had a 17 year old patient in this past week that's already got disc damage and all sorts of dis disruptions and dysfunction in their neck. I asked the mom what she does. She says she spends four or five hours a day looking down. So, you know, we always see these fancy charts of like how much force goes in your neck as you look down. Well, that force has to go somewhere. And where does it go? It goes to all the discs in your neck. Um, just being honest with people, I got a lot of disc injuries from playing football and disc pain is nothing to mess around with. And there's a true consequence of spending so much time in there. So I wanted to go over what happens to the disc when you spend all day looking like this. So the first part that happens is when you look down, there's a lot of deep muscles back through your neck. Um, they get overloaded and they get stretched all day long. When that happens, you develop, we talked about this in past videos, you develop what's called adhesion. It's like glue that gets inside the muscle. Now that adhesion goes in there and it takes up space and now that muscle can't contract and stretch how it's supposed to. So it makes that area weaker and less flexible. That by itself is bad enough, but what, what other jobs muscles are supposed to do are they supposed to support your neck and your discs? So you got your bones in your neck and basically they're stacked up like this. In between them is the disc. The disc is a really good shock absorber, kind of like shocks on your car. It's really good at handling forces like this. But what happens is when you start going forward, now it puts what's called some shear force and some pressure and twisting. So now you get some downward pressure on the disc, and then if we cut your disc in half, it starts to squeeze. It gets this toothpaste substance in the middle, and it's surrounded by these rings. And what happens over time is when that compression and that shear force goes in there, you start to get some tearing in here. And when that tears, this toothpaste seeps out, you get inflammation, pain, all that stuff. If you've ever been one of those people who are like, oh, I just slept on my neck wrong, this is what actually really happened. The problem is, as that adhesion builds up more and more, more compression goes on that, and then eventually that disc just ruptures, and then you're screwed. There ain't a lot you can do once it ruptures. So in today's knowledge bomb, what I wanted to have people do is, be like me. When I travel, I look like a huge creep ball or when I'm out because I always bring my device to my eyes. So sit here and if you need to text or you need to go or go on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube and watch my videos, then bring it up to here and look here. Never bring your eyes to the device, bring the device to your eyes. So on Knowledge Bomb Wednesday this week, we want to let you know you might not feel this right away, but if you keep loading your neck up like it is, it's going to be a bigger problem down the road that only an orthopedic doctor will be able to fix, and they'll never fix it right. So my advice is always bring the device to your eyes. We'll see you guys next week.